Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today and today the Houston Astros beat the Texas Rangers 5-4 to in the ALCS and Game 5. Wow, what a game. Jose Altuve comes to the rescue in the ninth inning. Um, you know, I was, I'll, I'll admit, this was a stressful game. I mean, the incident in the eighth inning, which I, I honestly felt was total BS. I mean, I don't want to talk too much to it. I'm not going to complain about it. The ultimately in the in the in, the end situation, the Astros won the ball game. But I mean, Brian Abreu. I'll, I'll say when old Adolis Garcia hit that home run in the sixth inning. Well, first was that was a great shot. That was a great home run by Adolis Garcia. But what he did when getting into the home base pad, um, you know, I, I will say that that was that wasn't necessary. And I get you know he wants to celebrate, but you know, a lot of teams will, after situations like that, end up and and you know fighting back and hitting hitting the the hitter. But I'm not gonna say the Astros are not capable of doing that. But in a situation in the eighth inning and you're down two runs and there's already one on, you're not gonna hit a runner on purpose because with how deep that Rangers lineup is, you're taking a risk and ultimately. Great, nothing happened. The Ryan Presley after Abreu got ejected, which that was also total BS. Um, after Presley came in, two runners on the Astros were able to get out of that jam, and uh, they got they got through it and didn't give up any runs. But no team with the right logic down two runs would put on a runner would, would put on a runner uh, when you already have a runner on first base, which puts a runner on scoring position. And may I remind everybody, with zero outs, so. Uh, just that makes no sense to me. That uh, Brian Abreu said it. He would, didn't mean to hit Adolis Garcia. I in the in the playoffs it, with the it being the playoffs and not only being the playoffs, the Astros being down two runs and um, not only that, but there's already a runner on. Now I, I just don't think that was on purpose, and I I know a lot of Astros fans think so, and I think some even a lot of a couple of MLB fans or a decent amount of MLB fans even think so as well. I mean. Uh, you know, if maybe the Astros were up, you know, four runs or five runs or more, I would say, okay, I think that was on purpose, and I'm not upset if he gets ejected, because if it's if it's if you're up four or five runs and you do that, I mean, it, it kind of feels like that's on purpose. But when you're down two runs and uh, there's already one runner on, you're not going to try to jeopardize your season by hitting a player. This doesn't make sense. So, uh, but, you know, after all that drama, Dusty Baker was livid and he got ejected. So did Adoles Garcia, who uh, him and Martin Maldonado got in a little bit of a scruffle there after the after everything went down. So Maldonado did not get ejected, but Adoles Garcia, Brian Abreu, and Dusty Baker got ejected, which Dusty Baker, I've never, he's been here since 2020, I've never seen him that mad and that angry in a situation, and I don't blame him, but after all that, the Astros in the ninth, in the, yeah, the ninth inning would put on some pinch hitter, some pinch hitters, Jeremy Pena, I, just crazy to me with how dominant Jeremy Pena was in the postseason that the Astros have to put in a pinch hitter for him in the ninth inning. Um, and it, I, that's, I hate that. I mean, he was 0 for 3 in the game, but the Astros had to put in a pinch hitter for him. And yeah, it, it was Yanner Diaz, who in his postseason career has been terrible. He's a rookie, though, so he's a little nervous out there. And But he hasn't played much. He only has one start and a couple other pinch hitting appearances. But Yanner Diaz was finally able to come through and get. he was, he was able to get out of that slump with a single to, to center. And then... Um, the Astros decided to pinch hit Martin Maldonado for John Singleton, who's not much better than Martin Maldonado. I just think that the only thing that's better with John Singleton is that uh, John Singleton doesn't swing at stupid pitches like Maldonado does sometimes, um, although John Singleton does do that sometimes too. But I feel like John Singleton is a little bit of a more patient hitter than Martin Maldonado is. And um, John Singleton got it to a full count, got the walk on a low pitch, and the Astros now have two runners on. Here comes the Texas killer. Now, I, you know, I usually feel confident in Jose Altuve, but he was over 4 
leading to this bat. I felt conf confident, though, and Jose Altuve blasted a go-ahead three-run home run in the ninth inning. The Astros win it 5-4 to four against the Texas Rangers. The Astros ask Presley to go two innings in the ninth inning. He gives up two hits in the ninth inning, but then is able to bounce back and get the win. Got it. Presley nervous me in the ninth inning, though, I will say. I mean, think about it. Ryan Presley um, has had an offseason this year for the Astros and has not been as good as in the, in the past. And even when he was a, an elite pitcher for the Astros, n not often did he go two innings. So the Astros with Brian Abreu out and you know him having to come on in the eighth inning and then pitch the ninth inning, you know he had to do something he's not really used to in the past. And uh, man, did he do good at it. Um, and Presley pitched two innings. He got the win for the Astros. So 5-4 is the final score. Eight hits for both teams. One error in the game. It uh, goes to the Texas Rangers. Win goes to Ryan Presley, his first win of the postseason. Although he, he already has like three or four saves in the postseason. He pitched the eighth and ninth inning, giving up two hits. Both in the ninth inning, giving up zero, having zero and runs and three strikeouts and zero walks. Loss goes to, to um, LeClerc, and he's 0-1 in the postseason. He pitched he pitched the ninth inning. Yeah, he pitched the the last out of the eighth inning and the ninth inning. He gave two hits, three hundred runs, one strikeout, one walk. Scoring summary: First inning, how about Alex Bregman on the third up out of the game, home run to left center, four hundred sixteen feet. It's one to zero. Then, then you have Nathaniel Lowe with a home run to left, three hundred eighty feet. It's one to one. Then sixth inning, Jose Abreu RBI single to center. Bregman scored Altuve to third. It's two to one. Then sixth inning, Garcia home run to left center, three hundred ninety six feet. Seager scored and Carter scored. Great three run shot. And then the momentum for the Astros kind of a little bit kind of just falls a little bit. But then the Astros in the ninth, after not great performances in the seventh, seventh or eighth, uh, the Astros are able to get some runners on in the ninth for Jose Altuve. And the Astros uh, get a go-ahead three-run home run. Altuve home run to left, 382 feet. Diaz scored and Kessinger scored. Uh, how about Kessinger, though? I mean, um, he comes in to pinch run in the ninth inning. He made an amazing catch. Um, amazing catch at shortstop. Uh, yeah, he was he was at shortstop when he made that catch. Um, so he, he replaced Pena at shortstop. He made an amazing diving, or uh, not? No, it wasn't diving. Jump. He jumped for the ball. An amazing catch. And um, honestly, could have saved the Astros the game because that was very close to going into the outfield for a base hit, which would have scored a run for the Rangers, and they would have tied the ball game. What a what a I would I would never thought Kessinger would make a huge play for the Astros in the postseason, but he did it. All right, uh, let's get into the Astros hitting in this ball game. Jose Altuve one for five. Besides his home run in the ninth inning, Jose Altuve grounded out twice, and a very very stupid play by Jose Altuve in the fifth inning. He bunt he he had, he had a bunt uh, a bunt ground out to catcher in the fifth inning with runners on the corners and two outs. Um, but that's okay because Altuve in the ninth inning. Won us the game, so I don't really care what he did in the fifth inning because that's over with. Uh, Dubon was 0 for 5 in this ball game, struck out twice, grounded out twice, and flied out. Alex Bregman, besides his home run in the first inning, he did not have any other hits in this ball game. Bregman uh, had a six inning walk though, and Jordan was 2 for 5 in this ball game, a six inning single to right. Bregman to third and a first inning single to center, two for five for a missed October. Jose Abreu was one for four in this ball game, six inning single to center. Bregman scored RBI for Abreu. He's been great on the road in the postseason and the playoffs. Finally, finally, Kyle Tucker shows up. I mean, still, I mean, Tucker's still been terrible in the postseason, but finally we get a good game from Kyle Tucker. This is what we needed. Fifth inning, single to right, six inning walk, and Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu to second, and then an eighth inning double to left. I mean, out of all the times he got on base, the only time the Astros only scored was off of his walk in the sixth inning. He had a double in the eighth. Astros weren't able to score any runs. Hit a single in the fifth. The Astros weren't able to score any runs. So the only time the Astros scored a run when Tucker was on base was in the sixth inning when Tucker got a walk. And when Abreu hit the RBI single, uh, well, actually, never mind, never mind. Uh, the Astros scored already before before that, because Jose Abreu is before Tucker, so um, that walk didn't really do much. They they didn't score uh, after that. They scored before that. So uh, you know the Astros weren't really able to score at all when Tucker would was on, after Tucker got on base. But still, great day for Tucker because he's been in a huge slump. Fifth inning single, eighth inning double, and a sixth inning walk. All right, uh, Chas McCormick was zero for three in this game. He flied out, lined out, and grounded out. Um, Michael Brantley would have a pinch hit appearance for him in the eighth inning with a 
um, with a pop up or a pop out. Um, and that was it for Brantley. Jeremy Pena was 0 for 3 in this game, grounded out to shortstop, grounded into Fuller's choice, and grounded out to second. But then Yanni Diaz would pinch it for him in the ninth with a single to left. Maldonado was 0 for 2 in this game, flat out to right, flat out to right, Tucker to third, and a seventh inning walk. And then John Singleton would come on in the ninth for a pinch hit appearance, and he would have a walk. Greg, Greg Kissinger would uh, pinch run for John Singleton after his walk, uh, and he had no at-bats in this game, but he did score a run off of the home run from Altuve, and he made a great catch at shortstop um, because of – he made a great play at shortstop because of um, because of the play from, from – sorry, because of the play from um, – Yes, because of the fly out. It was whatever it was. Um, so, yeah. All right. Pitching for the Astros, Justin Verlander p- pitched nearly six innings, gave up a huge three run shot. Um, so, he pitched five innings and pitched two thirds of the six, giving up six hits, four and runs, one walk, and three strikeouts. Hector Neris would pitch the last out of the sixth inning and the seventh inning. Uh, so 1.1, he gave up one walk and got the, got the job done in 17 pitches. Brian Abreu uh, would only. Pitch, would pitch nothing because he got ejected. He gave up one walk, and that was it. Uh, then Ryan Presley would get the win for the Astros, pitching two innings, two hits given up, and three strikeouts. So great job from the Astros. They win it, and they're one win away from going to the World Series for the third straight time. But the only problem is, guess where the Astros have to win? Uh, the only place they're not comfortable winning, at home. So uh, the Astros have two chances to win at home. So... Hopefully that that works out for them. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and peace out. Go Astros.